let's make a jar cylinder top view zero uh, radius 10 and height 30 Control shift e and now to create the spout we want to use a cage it's in two step you do cage first and then cage edit so cage always go bounding box always world how many subdivision just put eight everywhere not in degree just in a count degree is how smooth and three is good voila so now we can see that if we go f10 the cage has eight 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 on every side now we need to connect so cage edit Captive is this one, control is this one, oh, global. Voila. Select the center, deselect the bottom. And we could move them like this, but we want something really smooth, so we're going to use a common called shear. From here to there. Do not move the mouse and just type minus 25 degrees. Voila escape twice now you can get rid of the cage uh, now we want to deform we want to bend the top part a little bit so we're going to draw a line here hold shift and we want five subdivision we want five points we only have two so i'll go rebuild and i'll put five actually let's go six i'll make a copy by holding alt and drag so that's going to be our reference curve and the one we'll tweak will be this one leave those three points alone and the top just a little bit a little bit will do a lot just like this and those two a hell more like that escape okay make a copy by mistake here we go flow this bottom of this curve bottom of the target curve voila and now we can see the little bend here get rid of this move this back to zero um, now we don't want the top so explode so we are converting this from solid to surfaces delete the top the bottom one is good but this one needs to be rebuilt so rebuild and 50 and 24 so we need quite a bit but 50 i think is a bit pushing it so let's go 42 around and going up 24 is also pushing it let's go 18. Wow. so now everything is equal in space um, now we need the thickness so offset surf and uh, just a little bit 0.5 should be all right uh, loose to yes yeah and same with this one so now we can hide uh, the inside hide and this one can be hidden to the inside too. Voila. let's work on the handle curve try to get it kind of perpendicular like this and have a radius which is not too small too If you put many points close to, close to each other, you can have something quite sharp. And also leave a bit of space here. So there's room to connect. Uh, maybe not too, too much, but... And um, F10, move this up here. Voilà. This radius here could be a bit wild. Just make our life easier. It's not as pretty, but I 
anyway press alt something like this pipe so first section here second hair smaller right. this is what you don't want overlapping points like this that's why I was saying so one way you go with a smaller diameter or you make this wider uh, I think our diameter was a bit too big let's go a little bit smaller perfect delete the line now it's time to open this so explode and delete the cap now we need to connect this so ellipse from diameter so we can come here type ellipse and choose the diameter so it's from end to end you can press all so you're not cross snapping and um, we could have scaled this a little bit um, look like this we could have scaled this uh, hair Where is my blue square? Here. So it has a bit of a stretch. So it's a little bit more squarey. Oh, we could have gone this way too. Like this. So it's a hair more square. And you can do an ellipse. But actually, I think I'll keep it this way. So ellipse. diameter and we can press alt from here with shift to there we can make it a hair like this same here pressing alt shift oh sorry did wrong I forgot to do diameter Actually, it's pretty good. So now we're going to realize that those two ones are in the center. So I select both using Shift. I choose the view that I want to project them, project them into, and go Project here. Now I don't need those ones, so I get rid of this. Get rid of this. Sorry, it's late, I'm a bit tired, uh, but anyway, we'll finish it well. Um, I'll go and shed it so I can see the line here. Trim, cunning object, sorry, trim again, is this. Object to trim, click on that line here. Wow. Then you can get rid of the circle, the ellipse. Um, do it again, trim, cutting is the ellipse, and to trim is this one. Get rid of the ellipse. Perfect. Now we need to close this gap. Blend, surf, one edge and the other edge. Enter. So here you can get a preview. And uh, there's many things you can do. You could play with those sliders on each side. You could actually go into the UI and move those control. You could also ask for tangency. So you see here I'm tangent. And on the other side, I can ask for tangency too. Voila. And do the same here. Blend surf. Uh, tangent, tangent. Uh, what else? Here we're going to do a fillet surf. Make sure your radius is not too small or too big. 
So I think one here is a bit too big, so let's go point eight. And it's adding a new one. Just for a second, I'm gonna unhide everything, so show. And then I'll hide just those for a few seconds. Hide so I can see the inside. And now we can do another blend cell, um, fill itself, but this time smaller because the inside has to be smaller. So maybe 0.5 from here to there. Voila. So then I can show everything. Uh, show. Yes, show. Voila. To close the top, we could use a blend cell, but here I want it sharp, so I'll go loft here to here. And um, do not rebuild, so it matches perfectly. Now we can make this a solid. So Control J, join. And now that it's solid, we could go fill that edge, just a tiny one, especially if you're going to do rendering. Uh, that would help a lot. Voila. 